We ended the last video on a brief teaser on the need of more complex functions than just a linear one. So let's pick up right where we left. I have mentioned that in regression we usually want to predict continuous values, such as house prices changing over the course of years. But we can also use regression as a predicting model in discrete problem settings, for example asking whether the picture we see shows a cat or not. As we know, this problem is called binary classification, and you will learn about a different algorithm class later in this module that works well for those cases. But let's stick to the plan and see how we can make it work with regression. As said, our task is now a simple yes or no question. So let's consider an example dataset where we have a bunch of data points having zero as label, which means no, and some with one, meaning yes. As you can clearly see, the relation cannot really be described using a linear function, at least in a meaningful way. This is where logic logistic regression comes into play. Mathematically speaking, we assume that the relation between inputs and outputs can be described by having one as output whenever our function predicts something higher than 0.5, and zero as output whenever it predicts a value that is smaller or equal to 0.5. In this case, we need to add a non-linearity, meaning a non-linear function, to our initial model to model the new relation. In the case of logistic regression, this non-linearity is a logistic sigmoid, which can be characterized by the formula you see right now. And if we now draw a random function using some wild guesses for a and b, we can see that the regressing function already looks better than just having a linear function. But still, we are not really there yet. You might say, okay, well, just compute the optimal solution again. Unfortunately, however, there is no simple closed form solution for the logistic regression, which is why we need to come up with a new solution. But once again, more on this in the next video.